Now it has come to my attention that many Mabinogi players do indeed ask the question, is it worth it to buy the Troubadour's box? The Troubadour's box is Nexon's latest attempt to throw in best in slot gear into a limited time gachapon with new outfits like the special Troubadour's long coat granting the user plus 3 music buff effect to the Battlefield Overture, and includes some returning best in slot music enchants, Pure, Whisper, Technical, and the Maestro. Coming in at the standard gachapon prices of 1 box for $1.50, 11 boxes for $15, and 45 boxes for $57.50, many players wonder if it's worth their money to buy this gachapon. Today, we'll be going over what the new items in the Skatchapon are, what the rare items do, analyzing the EV, and finally giving grades depending on your stage in the game. Let's get right to it. So let's get the fashion stuff out of the way. The box has 7 new pairs of wings with the classic treble clef on the backside. One of these wings is enchantable and fully dieable, while the rest can't have their main wings died. The enchantable wings are nice, and they're certainly the most expensive of the bunch, but Nexon keeps putting in these crappy wings in these Skatchapon that don't even look any good. I think the majority of the player base is sick and tired of these fancy looking wings and that's why the most expensive items that go in the rope slot aren't really wings anymore like the Halloween cape for example. Then we got a new face accessory, a new spirit transmission liquor, and finally three music themed appearance scrolls. I really like the spirit transmission liquor and the bow harp a lot. They look fantastic, although the other items are a bit lacking in my opinion, the cylinders especially look out of place and their earrings are just, you know, whatever, they're just earrings. Alright, now we get into the best in slot bard gear. First up we have the four outfits, two for male and two for female. They all have a special version and a regular version. The regular versions don't have any animation, nor do they have a set effect that the special version has, so keep that in mind. These outfits have a tremendous amount of defensive stats and are considered light armor, which is kind of weird considering how these outfits look. They look like clothing, but but that just adds to the power that these outfits give on top of that. They also have the Battlefield Overture buff effect and the Enduring Melody buff effect, which gives plus 3 music buff effect to the set skill. For example, this outfit will give you plus 0.6% to your Battlefield Overture, even if the outfit is unenchanted. They also change the effect of a Battlefield Overture while you have them equipped. It looks all orangey and stuff. Next are the gloves and the boots. These items give respectable defensive stats and provide more set effects. The glove gives lullaby and harvest song set effects, while the boots give march song and music buff duration set effects. I'm not really sure myself how much music buff duration these boots give, but sources say that it gives about 10 extra seconds to your music buff, which is a ton of time, especially when extended with a spirit of Tuan Pet. Finally, we had the wigs with the hat. Well, that's why I'm calling both of them anyways. These are different from just the solo wig and the solo hat, since the solo items don't have the set effect that the wigs with the hats do. These set effects power up your Fantastic Chorus and Vivace, although I don't really know what the Fantastic Chorus set does, it, because you know, how, how do you quantify that? With, <laughs> we haven't seen this before. But anyways, that's it for the new items in this Gachapon. The last thing I wanted to talk about were the four returning music enchants. These are the best in slot Gachapon exclusive enchants for music buff, and they provide a ton of buff effect. For example, Technical and Maestro together on one item can get up to plus 6 music buff effect, which is plus 4 above the farmable option, which is just solo, and there's no suffix for music buff, so it's just solo, which is plus 2. Come on, Nexon. I get why you guys release this gacha. It makes a ton of money very quickly, but it's just sad how much better these limited time gacha upon exclusive gear is just how much better it is compared to these farmable options like if it was just a tiny bit better like plus one or plus two better than the farmable option i would sort of get that but it's plus four right technical and maestro are plus four compared to just solo and don't even get me started on the outfit the outfit is plus eight better than just encore by itself because you have pure and whisper whisper on top of that like this is just, it's kind of, it's kind of messed up, like, on top of that, there's also gear that gives plus 3 music buff effect to that skill, like, that creates a need for players to remake their bard set, again, if they want the best stuff. This gacha is messed up, <laughs> it's super greedy, like, uh, and you know, you know endgame players, the endgame bards are going to eat up this gacha like crazy, because they are are crazy about min-maxing their bard sets. They are crazy about min-maxing their perfect music sets, and that's why it's worth a fortune. <sighs> this gacha is just, it's just predatory. Like honestly, it's just, it's just 
predatory. It, it, on top of that, you won't even make that much gold if you buy it yourself, since the gold isn't just the big ticket items. Speaking of which, <laughs> here's the EV for the sketch fund. As a reminder, EV stands for estimated value. We can use the chance to receive an item multiplied by the item's value to get its EV. Then add up all the individual EVs together to get the estimated worth of each individual box. Here's a few notes because I need to explain this before we get into it. The EV is calculated as if you sold everything. Time is not a factor, you sell that price instantly. Waiting can be an issue if you think about it because people might not want to wait to sell their items, people might need the gold now, which will drop the price significantly. And your prices will be the same as the time of editing, which won't happen because prices can and will fluctuate a ton. A new thing in this one is items worth underneath 500k are not considered in the EV calculation. These items are generally considered too hard to sell and I won't consider them as a factor in the estimated value. Finally, I'm going to consider all the renowned seals from this box worthless for the estimated value. Again, these items are a bit harder to sell than normal. With that out of the way, let's hop into Nala's values. Here are the most expensive items in the Gachapon, with the 4 Enchants and the 4 Special Outfits at the top of the list, followed by the new boots, with the other new music side effect items. Fleet Feet are still surprisingly expensive with all the other big ticket items in this Gachapon, along with the Demonic Luna Sunday. Overall, you have only a pathetic 5.18% chance to pull something above 3 mil, and a massive 64% chance to pull something that's worth less than 500k. The EV for a single box is about 2.54 mil or 1.69 mil per dollar. 11 boxes is 27.956 mil or 1.86 mil per dollar. Finally, 45 boxes is 114.367 mil or 1.989 mil per dollar. Compare that to the guaranteed ways to make gold. Selling $57.50 worth of fine reforges gets you about 93.44 mil or about 1.625 mil per dollar. Trading locks are 105.42 mil or 1.833 mil per dollar. And finally, enchant protections are worth 123.734 mil or 2.152 mil per dollar. It's way more efficient even in the most average case to buy and sell enchant protection potions than it is to buy and sell the items from this gachapon. On top of that, since this gachapon drops enchants and explode items, people might want enchant products now more than ever, which means enchant protection potions might go up even more in price. Finally, let's jump into Alexina's prices. Keep in mind that the EV might be inflated due to the lack of gacha buyers, so it might take a couple weeks for the prices to fully settle on Alexina. For example, like some, some of these items I couldn't even find the actual price for, because <laughs> no one was listing them and no one was actually selling them and buying them. Anyways, at the top of this list are once again the new music set effect items and the enchants. Oddly enough, the Hamelin's tuner is still at the top of the list, even beating out Fleet Feet, which is kind of insane. You have a 12.63% chance to pull something worth over 3 mil, and a 49.28% chance to get something below 500k. The EV for a single box is 2.77 mil, or 1.85 mil per dollar. 11 boxes is 30.494 mil, or 2.03 mil per dollar. And finally, 45 boxes is 124.751 mil, or 2.169 mil per dollar. This beats out an enchant protection pushes by a little bit, but again, as a reminder, prices in Alexina are still very unstable. It will look probably closer to now's EV over time, and enchant protections will rise in price for people enchanting the new enchants of the new outfits. Finally, let's give my grades for this Gachapon. I'll give one grade if you're looking for profit, another if you're somewhere in the early or mid game, and one if you're an end game player. If you're ever looking for a profit, don't buy this Gachapon. <laughs> you're way more likely to lose money than to make money. If you really want to buy Gachapon to try to make profit, buy the Ocean Traveler pet box instead. That Gachapon is way more likely to sustain high value over time. And it's still here for two more weeks as it, <laughs> by the time I release this video. So. For you guys, this is this this box is getting a C flat <laughs> if you get my drift. If you're an early or mid game player, I still wouldn't get this Gachapon. There are barely any useful items for you other than the training pots and the fleet feet, but the training pots are like, you know, whatever. And at that point, you could just sell enchant protection potions to just buy the items that you want rather than gamble for them. This gets another C minus for the early and mid game players. I don't think it's worth it for you guys. If you're an end game player, you're just looking to min max your buff probably, but at this point you should probably know that it's just better to buy the items with gold off of other players than it is to just gacha and gamble it yourself. Plus, like the majority of end game players 
aren't going to min-max their buff anyways. Usually in a party, there will be someone with a better buff than you anyways, so if you aren't going for perfect bard gear, I would stay away from this gacha fun. Use that gold and you know, buy a better gloomy if you don't have a good gloomy or a Lego accessories or something. I want to give it another C- for endgame players. Anyways, that would do it for this video. Remember that this is just my advice for this gachapon. I fully understand if you want to open this gachapon for fun, because I do it all the time. I love gambling for fun. For fun though, because don't let your greed take over. You need to understand the math and the risks first before buying any loot box ever. So until next time friends, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. What was your best? or worst gacha opening experience ever, let me know, and I'll see you guys later. I'm in a pineapple.